Hey Ragers, this is Rage Quit. So, I've been getting a lot of questions about the new things that are going on in Discord, the new role, which is technically a really cool way of saying that I trust you guys. So I made a new role for, or role name for the Discord mods. Technically, my YouTube mods. So, there, there, there's a new role called Guardians. And the Guardians are my trust, trustable and royal freaking mods that I've had for a while. So, technically, if you, once you guys are a mod for a while, I'll end up putting you guys into the role of a guardian. So, if you are part of the Discord chat and stuff, I'll end up role, putting you guys as a role of a, of a guardian. So, you guys will have the title of guardian on there. So, it's nothing special. It's just the same thing about if you have a Discord role, it'll be transferred as a guardian. Two things you guys are able to do. I'll just show you guys really quick. Ignore the um, background really quick just for two seconds. So if you end up getting the role of guardian, which is this right here, I'm hoping you guys can see it. So, hold on. Hoping you guys can see it. No, you cannot. Okay. So if you get this right here on the top, up here, it says YouTuber and then Guardians. If you guys get this role and you go here, or if, if I can, go to roles, you get the role of Guardian. You guys can end up doing this thing right here kick members and ban. You can send messages, you can mention everyone, add reactions, and that's pretty much it. That's all you guys can do. I'm not gonna give you guys like admin roles or anything like that. I'm not that psychotic. I'm not that psychotic at all. So, pretty much everything I wanted to cover at the very moment, as well as Here's a new thing I want to tell you guys. So I've been trying my best to make a new routine on the mod punishment game. I feel like it's a little unfair, a little bit, but we're not changing much. We're just changing one little thing. All right, one thing. Ready? When I get more mods into into my list, knowing that I want to replace some mods with, other, with new people and stuff because they're just not active anymore, once I get more mods, maybe 10, 15 more, knowing that, <laughs> knowing that Mega Man Maker has this new role thing on, or new, whatever it's called hold on let me just show you guys what I'm talking about all right give me one second So, we got ourselves Mega Man Maker, right? So there's this new thing in Mega Man Maker, and I want to use it for a mod punishment game challenge. I want to know if you guys agree to it. If I go online, go one more time because you have to.
So if you go to play, you got Willie's Challenge. You got ourselves a short, medium, and long challenge, right? So if you go to me a short, medium, or, or or whatever, short, medium, long, you always got these, right? So for example, if you have easy and you have short, it'll be maybe if I can beat it, it'll be two mods. And if you do short and normal, it'll be three mods. Short and hard, it'll be four mods. If I can beat medium on one or the other, it'll be three, four, five. Long, it'll be, because it's really, really difficult, it'll be maybe four, six, and eight mods. It'll never hit ten. It'll be from one all the way up to maybe eight, nine mods that I have to punish for one week. And it'll be my choice of random. So you guys will never know which mods I choose. It doesn't matter if you guys joined or not. It'll always be random. But I'll only do this once. One time I'll do this. Maybe once a month or something. I make sure I have all my mods back. Not affected at all. Before I do this. And maybe I'll just jump it direct to 10 if I can do um, the long and hard challenge. So, I just want to know if you guys agree to this. I really think it would be a fun idea to do for one time a month to do this challenge. So, I have to do short and easy, all the way to hard, and then do medium and all the way up to the rest of the way pretty much repetitive all the way through until I can get too short into all the way up to here. What is your guys' ideas? Should I just do this and then go all the way there or do I start from this and then jump to this one? I heard it's very rigged right now and it's not fair in the game aspects. I don't know. Never tried it. And I really want to give it a shot. And I feel like it'll be a great add-on knowing that I can never beat a Mario Maker challenge for the 100 man. And they added this and I'm like, finally, I can finally do what I really wanted to do. There's, I heard there's about 25, 30 lives, which is pretty fair. But the problem is, is that you never gain your lives back unless you do because of the um, the little things that are laying around and you gain all your life back or something. Do they change it in this to where if you gain it, you get your lives or regain your life or your life and stuff like that? I don't know. I really don't. I've never seen it, never tried it. They just added it recently. And I really want to give it a shot. And if if I were to beat any of them, it would depend on what I choose, on what challenge I do. And if I do that and I can't beat the other ones, it'll only be that one. For example, if I beat if I beat the short challenge and put it on easy, and I can't beat these two in the matter of a certain amount of time it'll only be the short and easy so that would be mean there would be only one mod that would be randomized to lose their mod privilege for one week so if I was to do easy meet normal and hard in that short amount of time I would have there would be there would be five people um, to be affected all right what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I love this idea. I feel like if I was to do this once a month, make sure all my mods are back, it'll be affected depending on how many people I choose. I know I repeated it a few times. I just want to make sure it's all in your guys' mind. And throughout the entire rest of the month, it'll be all normal where if you don't show up, two people 
depending on who's watching if it is just viewers are watching it'll be two viewers if there's only mods watching either the new mods will be chosen to choose them to choose the new mod or the old mods to lose their privilege only one each depending on who it is so if it's one view or two viewers only one each then if it's two mods then they both choose one so also last night there was two people who were affected by two mods or technically one mod because I want to make sure two people get affected and not just one so if it's just one person watching they get to choose two and they're randomized again so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys think it's a, a good idea smash that like button if you can and please let me know either in discord or let me know in the comments if you guys agree on this all right and I'll see you guys very shortly, all right? And I will not be live for the next two days like I was trying to tell you guys during the stream tonight. But I really wanted to get this done, and I'll make sure. One final thing, if I don't go live during the weekend on Friday and Saturday, I will be doing the, um, the stream highlights on the next day. And I will have just a random video or an update or something that goes out on Saturday as well. Alright? And like I said, thank you guys so much for watching and understanding a lot of this stuff because I think it's a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys soon, alright? And Raid Cret out!